Welcome to our Sanadna apartment. This is our home for three nights and we picked this beautiful spot because we needed a place to bunker down and work and we'll show you around. This is our super functional kitchen. as has a stove, toaster oven, everything you need to cook for two people. We're always cooking for ourselves so that's super helpful. We have this nice breakfast bar. We usually don't have breakfast here but we do get a lot of work done so that's good. So here is our cozy living room slash main office space. So we've each kind of like clean. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes the TV from the <laughs> And this is our cozy living room slash main office space. We've each kind of claimed one of the small couches. This is my workspace. This is where I might have spent many, many hours editing videos. We just kind of hang out here, do a lot of work. We don't watch much TV. I might have just almost knocked the TV off the wall in a previous shot, so it's a good thing that we don't really need it. Walk with me to our master bedroom. There's also a Turkish eye to keep the bad juju away. I think it's also a Greek eye, and we're pretty close to Greece, so that might be part of it. Real quick, here's our bathroom with a very, very tall shower and a washer that is worth its weight in gold. And here, a super comfortable bed with plenty of pillows, which is important for me because I use like as many pillows as possible when I sleep. And a lot of nice details, storage space, Shockingly, some of my stuff is out of the suitcase and in the drawers. Also, we hid a lot of our stuff in here, apparently. <laughs> but the very best feature of this apartment and the reason why we booked it is this way. We are obsessed with our massive balcony. We've had many cups of coffee out here and some wine and some beers in the evening and also our meals. Just look at this view, absolutely incredible. I think we can see Greece all the way back there, like the island of Corfu. There's just like so much action happening with the boats. It's just like fun to chill out here and just observe the beautiful views. It does seem like Saranda is a bit of a party town. So like even though we're right next to the beach, you would think it's going to be kind of chill. But no, there's like a, a nightclub and several bars directly across the street that like bump like techno, electronic music until like 1230. We can't believe that this is what $75 can get you on the Albanian Riviera. Incredible views, an awesome apartment. Your money definitely goes a long way in Albania. But now we're gonna show you around town. We're gonna head out into the streets of Saranda and just show you what the vibe is. We are now on Saranda's beachfront promenade. It's a very beautiful spot, like right along Saranda's public beach. It goes on for about a kilometer and there's tons of like seafood restaurants and bars where you can have a drink and just have a view of the water. It's actually really, really nice. So during the day, the beach is packed with people like enjoying it. And it's perfect for families too. There's different excursions that you can take to islands and there's that like inflatable aquatic park. And then at night, Saranda definitely turns into a little bit of a party town. So the bars fill up, the clubs across from our apartment definitely <laughs> also fill up. Yep. So it definitely is that too. It's like that European like party town. So maybe we'll do some of that tonight, have a drink on the water. Probably not party, but we'll have a drink on the water. So one of our takeaways from the Albanian Riviera is that it's super beautiful. The water colors are incredible. Like the mountains surrounding the waters are awesome. And it's also like a very unique combination of like old and new. So there's a lot of like modern buildings sprouting up because Albania is just starting to like grow into tourism. And next to that are kind of like the old like communist style buildings which have like a much different character to them. So it's like a very interesting mix of those two things. And because it's almost sunset time and everything around here revolves around the beautiful sea, we're gonna try to find a nice bar to enjoy a cold beer and watch the sunset. All these people, they're probably getting robbed at that supermarket because they're worse. We got robbed there big time by that lady in the red t-shirt that was there. Don't shop there. Go tell her. No. <laughs> <laughs> She'll kill me. <laughs> Cheers. 
cheers to Monday happy hours in Sedanda. Of course, we're gonna choose a beautiful waterfront restaurant. And actually we have a view of Corfu, the Greek island of Corfu. And you can get a ferry from here and be in Corfu in 30 minutes. But we're not doing it because then they stamp in your passport. <laughs> and your passport is sacred. This is literally true. <laughs> I just want to take this moment to acknowledge how incredibly nice the people are here in Saranda. Like, it has to be mentioned, right? Like, we have been to, like, I don't know, like five cities already, and people here, even though it's a touristy place, way more touristy than all the other places that we have visited, people here are so nice. Everyone's, like, with a big smile on their faces. They, like, chatty. They talk to you. They're just so nice. It's just, like, they just have, like, a glow. They're awesome. We love you, people of Saranda. What about the lady that robbed us? The lady that robbed us was also very nice. <laughs> she, was. she robbed us, but she was very nice. <laughs> but she still robbed us and you should not support her business. But she was very nice. I think I even joked with her about how about the wine that <laughs> you bought. The... <laughs> she was nice. Yeah. She was the, she's the only one who has robbed us. Like everyone here has been like super honest and just so nice. Okay. See you in the morning. Bye. Welcome to Albania's famous Blue Eye. We got up pretty early this morning to come check this place out and it's very, very beautiful. Basically what it is is a natural spring and like water comes from an underground river like 50 meters below the ground and it all like bubbles up to the surface and creates these like beautiful, like clear, crystal clear like rapids. It's super, super stunning. I wish it wasn't as cold as it actually is. I think the water is like 50 degrees Fahrenheit and the outside temperature is like 95 even now at like 9.30 a.m. So. You can't really go in and swim and like refresh. I'm gonna dip my toes in and see what it feels like, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like icy, icy cold. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> it feels like sacred I don't think it's like too cold to like get, actually yeah, it's starting to hurt now. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the stone. Pictures online show people swimming, but I don't know how that's humanly possible. It's painful after like 15 seconds. No, no swimming today. Yeah, Vinhoff, where are you? <laughs> Happy birthday! We are heading back to our car. Keep in mind that from where you park to where the blue eye is, it's like a 30 minute walk, but it's like this, it's fully paved. And now we're going to go to a couple other spots that we're not going to show in the video. We're going to show it in a blog post because we do have a blog. And then we'll see you guys for lunch. just left Butrint. We didn't feel like talking about it for the video, but I'll put some B-roll. But now I'm very excited because we're about to board, how do you call that? Like a... A ferry. Kind of like a ferry, but it's not really like a boat. Look. That was a ripoff, seven dollars just to cross one way. <laughs> Jesus, it was already too late to say no. Oh well. It's pricey. One minute later. Seven dollars. Seven dollars later. That didn't seem right. Nope. Anyways, 
It's lunchtime. It is lunchtime. We are going to an agro tourism, a farm to table type restaurant. It's supposed to be very lovely and delicious. Hopefully they're open and hopefully they have some cold white wine for us this hot afternoon. <laughs> it's only 10 minutes away, so we'll find out soon. The restaurant is very closed. And now we don't want to go back and get on the ferry and pay $7 again that we know, like I saw people paying with coins, so I know it's not $7. But now, how long is the drive if we don't do the ferry? Mm, I don't know how to find the exact route, but it's definitely a little bit out of the way. <laughs> this has all been kind of deflating. Oh well. Not a perfect we'll, day. We'll find, we'll find somewhere to eat. Cheers. Look at this place we found. We have an Albanian feast right in the mountains in this little village. Everything turned out okay. We're hungry. What do you order? We have a village salad and some potato bodek and stuffed peppers. And what's not on the table yet is an eggplant with tomato sauce. Very yummy. That's it for our two weeks on the Albanian Riviera. We had an absolutely wonderful time going up and down the Riviera. It's very, very beautiful, but we are excited to go back inland and explore Albania's little towns and villages. Tomorrow we get on a bus and go to an Albanian farm where we're gonna spend three nights on the farm helping out if we can. I've actually never spent any time on a farm, so I don't know how much I can actually help out, but Aymara, surprisingly, is a farm girl, so she'll show me around, maybe teach me how to milk a cow, milk a goat. What else do you do? pick up eggs. We'll show you all of that on the next video, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe, and we'll see you on the farm.